All right, I'm just getting, I just want to know that you can hear me. I'm just getting everything moved so that you can see my, the right screen. Uh, if someone could just put in the chat that you can hear me okay, that'd be great. And today is a little bit more of an informal format. Um, I'm just mainly going to be going through how to set up Clio and the things that you're going to need to know. Um, today, we're not going to cover custom custom fields. We'll do that in a follow-up webinar in about in two weeks. Um, during We've got a couple of things that we're just finishing up on custom fields that I'm really excited about. Um, but it will be showing that at a later webinar. But if someone is able to just type in a question that you can hear me, oh, audio is good. All right, thank you, appreciate it. Okay, so a couple of things on the, the the Clio integration. First off, you do need to be on a Plus subscription. So let me just show you. Um, under pricing, you'll see that we have a Plus subscription now. Um, so that's part of what's needed for Clio integration. Um, and what will happen is, is that you just let us know that you want the Clio integration and we turn it on for you. Once we turn it on, you're going to see that you now have under the person, you've got a Clio. And when you initially turn it on, you're going to see application key and secret key that are blank. And we will email you a copy of of what those need to be. And in instead of saying refresh, it's actually going to uh, say connect. Once you click on that, it's going to then pull up another um, window that basically logs into uh, Clio. And with that, you'll just do your login credentials and log in and you'll accept it. Uh, once you've done, once you've gone through and done that, um, the refresh button is you can be used for uh, if you add new custom fields, you want to come back and click refresh, and that will refresh all of your fields from Clio. A couple of things that once you do this that you're going to see in the in the online designer, you're now going to see this button that shot says show third party models. For most people, you're not going to need to worry about those and it's usually unchecked but if you check it you're going to now see Clio contact Clio custom when you go through and you click refresh you just let us know that you've done that we'll do the initial mapping for you um, and by mapping I mean that we're going to go through and depending on your practice the area we're going to map it to your map to your fields um in the appropriate way whether you're state planning you've got client and spouse whether you're family law or bankruptcy or litigation or whatever we'll just work with you to we'll, we'll send out we'll just need to know how things are set up in Clio so that we can match how you're doing it there but if you do look at it if you see Clio contact you will and like I said you don't need to get into this we're going to set it up and once it's set up, it's in good shape for you to continue to move forward. So we don't really expect that you're ever going to have to go into it, but we do have formulas where we basically we're taking information that's in Clio and we're 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 basically what we call mapping it to information in NACLI. So most people, uh, I'd say 99.9% .9 of the people have a party. Um, that we're using for their client, your spouses, your children, other people. And we're just going to map that to the party. 
So let me show you how it kind of, how it looks. If I go in, I'm just gonna go into a new matter. You'll see select Clio, and I'll show you how to turn that on because that's important as well. Uh, if I go through select Clio, and I am going to use a family law since this is a family law example, and you'll see that I brought in my client. Um, that's a that's part of part of the information that, that I have in Clio. Uh, with the way we've set this up with right back, if I go through and add opposing party, I can then go through and um, it, when I click save to Clio, it will update all the information that's in here back to Clio so that you can see that. Um, in this case, I do have some children that pulled in as well. So we're able to map it that way. Um, so now the the next step is is how do we get this select from Clio? Because even if you have a Clio integration, you may not see the select from Clio. So let me just walk through that. In the designer, you'll go to your apps and you'll see a new something new here which is select from Clio or link to Clio. Select from Clio means that we're just gonna pull information from Clio, we're not gonna link back. Uh, link to means that we're gonna do both ways. And if you have like in this case, I, it's blank, which is always gonna be blank when you first see it. But you just, Click on this and you'll see Clio matters to matter to Clio matter. What this means is it's just showing you the mapping that's used to bring the information in. And on any of your apps that you want to have Clio connected, then you'll just go ahead and select this. And this will basically be the same for everyone because it's part of the setup that we do. Uh, if you are doing uh, external questionnaires where you're sending information out um, and you're having clients fill that information in, then you will want to, if you're using the exact same um, app for that as your other documents, then you will want to create a new one. But in this case, I have a intake questionnaire. And you'll notice I do not have this selected. As soon as I select, um, Clio matters here. That means it's going to then go through and pull, want to pull information from Clio. When your uh, when your user logs in to fill out information, they're going to all of a sudden get a, a screen that pops up. Hey, what are your Clio credentials? And they won't be able to get them because they don't have Clio credentials. So you'll want to make sure that on on any external intakes that that is always blank. And the nice thing is, is once we've gone through and done the initial linking uh, within, so within this record, I can then go through and fill out additional information and then go into the appropriate app and send the information back to Clio. And it keeps that connection there. So you'll see in this example, I have statutory forms, but then if I go to intake questionnaire, you don't see the Clio button here, which is what you, you wanna see for clients that are using this. Uh, um, let's see, other things that, to keep in mind as you're doing it. In the word add-in, let's just go there. With the way we've set it up, let me just go into the word add-in. All your existing information, except for uh, except for custom fields, is going to be you're going to continue to use it just like you've been using it. So let's that. I'm just going to go into template but you'll see in 
this example, I have minor, minor children, I have client. So I've gone through it and mapped so that it, with client, it's going to come in. You can go through and uh, put in fields just like you're used to doing, where all it is is a matter of just double clicking, pulling them in, because everything, you know, the things that are mapped, and let's just pull that up in Clio real quick just so you can see it. to this one so we've got the client so the things that we map automatically for you are a, a work phone a home phone and a mobile phone uh, email address and address if you do have a situation where you're getting multiple uh, you, you want to deal with the primary uh, phone numbers and primary email addresses, let us know, and we can go through and do a little bit more setup to take care of that. Addresses, we're just bringing in the first address in the list. And so we're gonna be bringing in all of your contact information and in the related contacts, we're gonna bring in related contact information. The key when we set this up is that in the related contract contacts is what are you calling this person? So if you call them children, you always need to call them children. Um, that's how we know that this field right here is how we know what information to bring in. Through the setup process, if you say you've got trustees or anybody else that you wanna put in here, we just have to know what the naming convention is to go through and bring that information in. Um, and because this, this is what, this is what we use to know where what to bring in and where to put people. So that's that's critical to how things work. Um, so if I go back here to Word, so anything in client, first name, middle name, last name, address, city, state, zip, email, phone you'll see, you'll actually start seeing that we're gonna be using a work and mobile, so you can put that into your documents accordingly. Uh, if you only ever correct one, then we can do it as a primary phone, but you need to let us know that that's what you're doing. Um, the rest, it certainly in time, we'll be able to do custom builds, and the way custom builds will work is you'll be seeing a Clio Custom, you can click on it and then you can go through and use these uh, variables in your documents. But like I said, that's not quite available. That'll be ready in the next two weeks so that you can start using those in the documents and we will have a training on that. So this is pretty short examples. I am happy to go through and answer any questions this is a small group so i think i could even if you want to actually do an audio and ask it just in the show answer question in the question section just raise your hand let me know and i can unmute you and you can ask your questions and if no one has questions then i'll we'll end here in a couple minutes but okay uh, Alex, I'm going to unmute you, so I, I think I can unmute. It's been a little while since I've used this. Are you able to unmute your... Yes, uh, for clarity, custom fields, I'm expecting next week, but I'm giving ourselves uh, two weeks just to make sure that we get everything in and test it and it's working the way that we expect. So, so yes, custom bills are, are coming. They're extremely close, um, but I'm giving ourselves two weeks just to make sure to set expectations.
Okay, any other questions that I can answer? All right, uh, certainly you can reach out to me at kmayberry at nackley.io if you have other questions. Love to make sure everything is getting set up for you. We are super excited about having write back capabilities and custom fields coming in. Uh, as far as we're aware that we're the first to do it and it, it took us a lot longer to do, but I'm extremely excited about what we've been able to accomplish and what this means for you and your practices. Uh, appreciate everyone coming up, uh, showing up for this, and we will be talking to you. Thanks.